twisted. Pulling. Spinning. Flicking. Bumping. Spinning. Flicking. Focus. Concentrate. Score. Seven. Focus and concentrate. Exactly. Is this just... Is this toy actually just a noisy toy aimed at annoying parents? Or is it actually a toy that has some educational value? Hi, I'm Dr Sandra McMahon, speech pathologist with the SpeechNet Speech Pathology and Learning Centre. I'm here today to talk about my recommendation for the top toy for toddler talking um, blog series. And I'm going to talk to you today about the Boppets. As you're probably aware, the Bobbit toys are a range of toys that speak commands to you through their speakers, telling you what to do um, on the machine. Usually there's a range of actions such as pull it, twist it, spin it, flick it, and bop it. So there's a range of things that the Bobbit asks you to do, and they come in different shapes and sizes. And this little one is also a boppet. And we can bop that one to start. Boppet to start. High score 35. Boppet. Twist it. Pull it. Pull it. Boppet. Pull it. Etc. I have a bad feeling about this score 6. They're really good fun, they're quite competitive, but what makes them a really good educational toy is the fact that it is giving you instructions and it's talking to you. It's not only the instructions though, you really have to think about it very quickly and we're using quick auditory processing skills. Now, speed of processing is very important for not only language development, but for a range of academic skills. Let's have a look at some of the reasons that listening and then processing quickly is really important. So one area that slower processing speed has been shown to have effect on is the vocabulary development in young children. It's also been found to affect or be linked to how well reading development goes. It also has been shown that handwriting can be slow and laboured for children with slow processing speeds. Some children with slow processing speeds find it hard to start tasks and others find that the processing speed increases frustration and anxiety. And of course, it can also impact on memory skills as the child tries to think of what they need to do. As you know, when we look at our top toy recommendation, we always think about it in terms of focus. Obviously, the focus today is our bop it. But then we need to think about what will a child do if we actually give them the toy. So we need to observe the O in focus. We need to see what they're actually going to do with the toy. Can they work out what to do by just fiddling with it? And obviously, it doesn't start until you actually bop it to get it going. So Remember we just talked about how processing speed and toys such as these can really impact on your frustration, your speed may not be fast enough, it's got the competitive component of the scores. Um, so we really need to make sure that we observe all those factors when the child's playing with them so we can support them and build their resilience to not being able to do something faster at the same time as using this toy to experiment with increasing the speed and that so also that leads us to the C in focus which is communicating with others and of course just as we said the need to be able to express their um, concerns about not getting a high score or their excitement um, they need to be able to perhaps ask for help um, some of these boppers also have a share focus we have to have a turn and pass it on and it will tell you when to pass so it does have a lovely social communication component as well. The U in the focus is about understanding and um, obviously they have to understand the words. Bop it means to hit it, it's saying pull it. This one has flick it, it has spin it. 
So there's some action words that children need to be able to first understand before they can even follow the instruction. Um, and then of course it's the listening and focus to be able to then follow through with the instruction. So that's the you or the understanding component of this. And then of course there's the S which is speech. Bop is an easy word to say, it's a fun word to say. And also um, the child needs to be able to ask questions, how does it work, um, they need to be able to um, express how excited they are when they get a high score or they have to maybe um, express how annoyed they are if they can't get it without sort of throwing the toy or stomping their feet um, but maybe using words to express their frustration. So as you can see a boppet is loads of fun but it also can have some educational value particularly as we said auditory processing and processing speed. Let me have another go. Okay, take care and I hope you have lots of fun with your puppets.